So he called five on your side for help. Our Kirk Chason has been working on this story for the past few weeks. He's in our newsroom with the update. Kirk. Yeah, Jim Redman spent more than a decade serving on Navy submarines. He says the diesel engines damaged his hearing. The VA is backlogged with claims, though. They could not tell him how long it would take to get help. After seeing our first stories, a local audiologist decided he had to answer the call. Jim Redman served his country, an engineer on Navy submarines during the Korean and Vietnam Wars. An old Life magazine article shows him playing a banjo on one sub. Years exposed to the roar of diesel engines damaged his hearing. You two were talking and I could see your lips moving, but I can't hear a bloody thing. After seeing our first story about the Veterans Administration claims backlog, Commander Richard Pena of the last patrol started looking for answers. Yeah, that looks good. Arlington audiologist Charles Butler took notice as well. Butler offered to fit Redman with a hearing aid for free. An exam shows that Redman has nerve damage. Right now you're showing about 60, 70, 80 percent hearing loss. I'm going to put them on for you, okay? Okay. Technician Cassandra Reina helped with the fitting. The transformation instantaneous after years of deep quiet. How are you hearing me here? I hear you just fine. Good. I even hear me. Yeah, that's really good. I, I couldn't hear myself before. That, that's good. Is it is it loud enough that you can understand what I'm saying? Is it uncomfortable for no, you? No, I understand every word you say. Okay, and you're, it's comfortable? The, the volume is comfortable there? Yeah, yes. it's, it's a new experience. Right. Yes, sir. Right. Being able to hear. Sound has returned to Jim Rebman. He's provided a service to the country as a veteran. We, we appreciate that. Um, I was in a position to help him because I'm in the hearing aid business, and I, I, I'm, I'm glad I, I'm glad I've done it. He seems like a nice man. He definitely needs the help. And it feels great. Uh, I was going day and night saying, "Oh, poor guy, I hope they help him out." And this doctor stepped up to the plate, uh, Dr. Butler. Outstanding job. He did real good. You know, I think it might be difficult for a lot of people to really understand what it's like to not hear and then suddenly hear. It's different. <laughs> It really is, uh, it's amazing. The, the little bitty things that they stuck in my ear made me hear. There's an isolation that comes with not being able to hear. Solitude imposed by silence. Thank you, guys. Now at 79 years old, Submariner Jim Redman can resurface and reconnect with those around him once again.